Van Leeuwen, you know I love you, but ranch? Greetings and welcome back to another ranch delicious episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliver, and with us today is Van Leeuwen's Hidden Valley Ranch Ice Cream. There's not often when I have a review coming up that I, I, I'm not saying I'm dreading it, but I'm not looking forward to it. I like ranch. I like ranch on things. I like ranch and chicken, you know, chicken fingers or whatever, or maybe some French fries. But I don't think about it when I think of a sweet treat that I'm going to enjoy after my meal. Nonetheless, Van Leeuwen has never let me down. I think their ice cream is really good. There are times when it's phenomenal, and there are other times when it's just good. But I've never had a bad Van Leeuwen, so I can't imagine this being bad, but I also can't imagine enjoying ranch-flavored ice cream. Here's a little story for you. I took a drive out to Roanoke with the family the other day. We went to the Valley View Mall, and there they had uh, a store that sold candy and a bunch of like weird and rare like stuff from around the world. I was super excited because I was like, oh, I'll bring back a bunch of stuff for the podcast. We'll do a weird and exciting episode. And uh, Then I saw Barf Soda, and I was like, wow. Who the hell would want to, I mean, there's no, no one ever wants to, barf is not something you eat. You don't go around and order bowls of barf, be like, uh, what's special today? Oh, it's a bowl of barf. Mmm, that sounds good. I'll have one of those. You don't do that. Like, I can understand putting turkey in a soda and be like, hey, it's Thanksgiving soda. You'll love it. It's gross. And all the family will giggle together on Thanksgiving and you'll bond and it'll be great. And that's a great thing. But then I looked at the prices. I saw two Pringles cans. One was the small one, was the big one. One of them was uh, mayo, sweet mayo, and something else. I don't know what the other one was. And then I looked at the price. It was fourteen ninety nine for the big one. Now, I understand you got to get it into the country, and it's rare and limited edition, but fuck that. Until we start rolling in dough on the podcast, I ain't paying fourteen ninety nine for Pringles. Oreos, maybe. Pringles, sorry. I just hope that we're not going to be sorry for trying this Van Leeuwen's Hidden Valley Ranch. I tell you one thing. Damn, it was cold in there. That's funny. <laughs> That's a funny joke. You don't have emotions or feelings. A life without anything good is bad, I suppose. Or it just could be neutral, if you're looking at it in D&D terms. I imagine there's not going to be a lot to see here. Oh, that didn't come off clean. That's upsetting, because I like the cover. Not like I was going to keep it. It's got ice cream on it. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, I'm going through my blue period right now. That's why we got a blue background today. No, I've been messing with my lighting, as you guys know. I talked about it yesterday. But I won't get into it here today because nobody wants the technical details of what I'm experimenting with and which new key lights I've added and fill lights and angles. And I haven't left this out very long, so it's not very melty, which is upsetting. Is there anything I should know about this first? Hang on. I may have read their mission statement before, or their history here, but I'll read it again now. Ever since 2008, when Van Leeuwen was born out of a yellow truck on the streets of New York City, we've been making good ice cream from good ingredients that makes you feel good. After all, happiness is health. After all, happiness is healthiness. And nothing makes us happier than this Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream. Hidden Valley is more than America's favorite ranch dressing, says who. It's a way of life. It goes with just about everything. Pizza, carrots, french fries, but it's never tried to go with ice cream until now. So here we go. Let's try this. Ranch ice cream. Mm -hmm. oh. there's, a, there's a lot of things I want to say right now. There is a weird combination of sweet and ranchy that I don't agree with. I could see how someone who loves ranch would absolutely adore this. But I was right. I'm sorry, Van Leeuwen. We've had a good relationship so far. This is... Oh. Mm, 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 mm. If you love ranch, you might like it. But, I mean, it's ice cream. I also got a bone to pick with you. Who says Hidden Valley Ranch is America's favorite ranch dressing? Because I completely disagree. There are very few times in life where the knockoff is better, in my opinion, than the original. However, if you get Walmart's ranch... I think it's way better than Hidden Valley Ranch. That is it. Walmart is definitely not a sponsor of this channel. Neither is Hidden Valley Ranch, nor is Van Leeuwen's. <laughs> and neither is Van Leeuwen's. However, Walmart makes a good ranch. Walmart, we may not see eye to eye on a lot of things, but your ranch is tip top. All right, I'm going to score these things, but after the shock of the flavor has worn off, 
that post taste is still there. It's still in my throat and it's a weird combination of sweet and ranch. It doesn't agree with me. From my opinion, this is not a good ice cream. I do not enjoy it. It's weird. It feels like there's something wrong with it. And now my mouth is very unhappy, Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen, I'm really sorry, but I got to give this a three. This is just no good on my scale. Um, I would avoid this at all costs. And unless you're like me and you like to try the wacky and wild things on the internet or not on the internet, however you enjoy trying wacky and wild things, this is one worth trying. Um, the effort's there. The flavor is there. If that's what you're looking for this is it you got it just go to the store walmart these are exclusive to walmart and uh pick it up but if you're not into the idea of ranch ice cream you already know what this is going to taste like <laughs> slappies hazelnut spread with banana and cocoa we're going to be testing this out probably tomorrow i had totally forgotten about this this was in the other room i had brought the other snacks in for the week and when i went back out there i saw this so a friend of mine uh katie was out with Carol, my wife, and they saw, well, she saw this and pointed it out, and my wife knew that this is definitely something I'd want to review on the show. So maybe we'll do some toast for breakfast tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anywho, Slappies is coming up this week. We got the roulette, Doritos, the lime, and we got the uh, tropical burst peeps, and we might have another one. I don't know yet. I've got one that's sitting over there that may just end up in another snack day episode. But time permitting, there will be plenty of videos coming this week. Um, and if you guys are loving watching these videos as much as I am loving making them, then you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit that little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make someone smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today, tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and the rain is one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However... Never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves, for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliver, and this is the podcast. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>